In this video, we will uh, compare this PA ECM and the other XVO models uh, for this PDAC differentia differentiation, and also we will check the Kestel stem cell markers in this different XVO models that are used for pancreatic cancer cells culture. In the previous video, we have understand that the stem cells markers are differently expressed in different XVO models, and they are expressed more in the case of this custom PA ECM uh, models that these researchers have designed compared to the other uh, XIVO models that are currently that are that are currently been used for culturing pancreatic cancer cells. In terms of this uh, cancer stem cells markers, what they have found out is that uh, the markers such as SOX2 and KLF4, KLF4 which is the important marker for the cancer stem cells are expressed almost uh, twice the time than uh, the expressions in the 2D culture. However, the other markers are not uh, significantly expressed, but in the case of this ALDH1, A1, the expressions in the 2D culture is higher compared to the uh, PACMs, or pan pancreatic cancer cells expressed in PACMs. Thereafter, they also check this percentage CD133 plus and CXCR4 positive cells. And they have find out is that in the case of PAECM, the expressions are uh, significantly higher compared to not only compared to the other XVO models, but also uh, compared to the uh, PDX, uh, PDX models. And since the cancer stem, cancer stem cells markers are higher, uh, there is a uh, high probability that the, this will cause more proliferations of the pancreatic cancer cells in the case of PAECM. And when they check the spare count of the uh, these pancreatic tumors, spare counts, and what they have find out is that they are uh, significantly higher in the case of this PAECM compared to the other XIVO models such as spare, organoid, or, or 2D. And once validating that the cancer stem cells markers are uh, expressing, overexpressing in the case of PAECM, then the other XIVO models they want to check they want to check these uh, pancreatic cancer cells that are cultured in PAECMs and organoid have any different effect on the animal models or not and when they uh, subcutaneously inject the PAECM encapsulated with 200,000 cells and the organoid with the 200,000 cells what they have find out is that the PAECMs has higher acceleration rate compared to the organoid cells and another thing they have find out is that with increase in the number of cells that are encapsulated with PAECM, they see that increased uh, acceleration, increased proliferation of the tumors, in, uh, and that has been measured in terms of the tumor volume. That we can see that when the PAECM is encapsulated with 50,000 cells, the tumor volume growth rate is similar to the organoid 200,000 cells. But when it is increases up to the 200,000 cells, we can see the doubling time is reduced to 4.82 days then the 5.13 days when the 50,000 cells are used. So this uh, further substantiate that the tumors that are of the pancreatic cancer cells that are cultured in the PAECMs has more uh, has more aggressive behaviors uh, similar to the pancreatic tumors observed in the uh, human beings. Uh, thereafter, they want to check how these pancreatic tumor cells expressed on the uh, expressed in the mice models about their uh, how they are expressed or differentiate across the uh, mice, nude mice that they have used. And for this, they use this HNE staining. And what they have find out is that in the case of PA ECM, the HNE stainings are uh, shows that pancreatic cancer cells are poorly differentiated. But for the organoid HNE, we can it is clear that the pancreatic cancer cells are uh, well differentiated and form a ductus like structures and uh, this results indicates that the PAECM's uh, behavior is similar to the pancreatic tissues uh, that are uh, that are observed from the observed from the uh, patients who are affected with the pancreatic cancer cells and after that, they also uh, check this PAECM pentac pentachrome staining. In this case, they have found out is that the collagen, which is marked by the red, is uh, 
expressed on the cancer cells whereas in the case of this organoid pentachrome uh, staining they have find out is that most of this uh, most of this collagens are in the stromal region and also uh, these uh, glycans are uh, also shown in the uh, white, sulfated glycans are also expressed and shown in the white color but it is not there in the cells that are cultured in the PAECM cultured using PAECM or where mice which is infected with the cells that are uh, cultured with PAECM so all this indicates that and this uh, PAECM pentachrome uh, staining is similar uh, to the pancreatic cancer tissues that are observed in the human beings so all this P, PA all these HNE stainings and uh, this cancer stem cells marker results indicates that these PAECM models uh, reproduce results that are similar to the uh, similar to the in vivo observations that has been observed in the patients who are affected with the pancreatic cancer cells. Uh, and uh, whereas when the results from the organoid cells cultured in the uh, organoids uh, deviates from the deviates more from the actual human pancreatic tissues observations has been made so if you need to understand more about uh, their the reasoning why they have considered this PAECMs is more closely replicates the in vivo uh, behaviors you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description so far the organoid behavior shows the dif uh, well differentiation which is not in line with the actual primary tumor differentiations whereas PAECMs differentiate uh, poorly which is in line with the pancreatic tumor differentiation so so far uh, this this observations look similar uh, so far these observations indicates that PAECMs behaves better uh, in or uh, replicates well in vivo characteristics compared to the organoids that's all for this video and if you to understand more about their experiment in detail you can go through the reference that is in the description Thank you for your time.